hello guys today we will continue further with the previous tutorial so today in that uh, previous uh, circuit uh, implementation we will add uh, how to add the gate delay you know all, uh, all the gates uh, available for the circuit implementation uh, comprises of some delays that is the result why you get a complete propagation delay so here for example uh, i'll show you in a circuit there are some uh, gates like not gate and gate or gate so this particular gate uh, comprises of uh, some internal uh, delay that is called a gate delay so because of that uh, the propagating signal takes some amount of time to travel from input to output because that sum ups from the source to the destination so here we will see how we can give the gate or uh, delay for the particular number of gates and uh, uh, we'll generate the waveforms and see uh, how the tool is adding up the delay from source to destination so for example purpose i'm taking not gate as 5 nanosecond and gate as 2 picosecond and or gate as 9 nanosecond so for uh, not gate let's provide 5 nanosecond over here so not gate how you provide a uh, delay is you will uh, the syntax is as such hash 5 and space so you can see in the initial line it shows that uh, time scale is 1 nanosecond slash 1 picosecond so here first unit defines that uh, at the number of uh, at the unit of second you are working on so directly if uh, we are defining not as 5 nanosecond then it will take directly a uh, 5 nanosecond as a nanosecond unit and the second unit 1 picosecond defines that up to how much decimal values you need to proceed on so previously how this circuit work and what are the waveforms that you can see in my previous tutorial tutorial number three but uh, now we are introducing the delay and now we are looking at that how now the uh, it affects the uh, working and uh, waveforms of the uh, delay circuit so here also not get then we'll give a five then look at uh, and get is two picosecond so for and get it is two picosecond picosecond need to be converted in nanosecond so that will be 0 0.02 provide a space and uh, the last one is or get it is 9 nanoseconds so you will give it and or gate is 0 sorry 9 nanosecond in space so you can see that for uh, every single gate this is the syntax you can write in at the gate gate level uh, of designing so what will come first First, you will define a gate, which gate you are taking. Then you define a delay, and then you define a variable in which you need the output of the gate, and then you define a output wire and input. So this is the particular syntax I will write here for you as a comment purpose. So double slash is for commenting so your first gate name will come then hash delay then gate variable then in bracket comes output output terminal comma So this is the syntax for providing a gate delay in your design. So we will save this. 
and synthesize it. Guys, you can implement it by uh, taking some different kind of circuit also and see how you are getting the result and match your result by manual calculation and by simulating the waveforms and see if you are getting correct or not. So the process synthesis XST completed successfully. Then we will go to simulation, select the file circuit 1 and in ICM simulator check the syntax. Ok, it is successfully checked and uh, simulate behavior. So here now we will give some inputs, let's give 0 and 1, so force constant I am giving as 1, value for x, apply, ok, then for y I am giving, giving 0, force constant is 0, apply, ok, and run. Okay, we'll give even second cycle. Now I will give you a zero or, or and zero only. Let's give you this constant zero. Apply and okay and run it. Okay, now we'll zoom to full view to view the waveforms. Now here you can see maximize it and uh, scroll your so maximize zoom in it even more so these were the two inputs and you can see here the output uh, we are having a some delay summed up that is 1014.020 nanosecond so there you can see that is 1005 nanoseconds and uh, even zoom in it more slide it over here a little bit slowly So here you can see even 0.2 nanosecond of delay. Yeah, in here you can see it, right? Zoom in one more. Yeah. So it is showing here. Because it is very minute. That is why it is not, you are not, it is not visible. You cannot see it. But uh, by zooming in it, into it, you can see that. So this is how you can add up the gate delay and implement your circuit. So for the next time, uh, we will see how to write a force clock and uh, test bench for some other circuits. So if you like the learning part, then please like it and uh, share it and stay tuned. Stay safe guys. And thank you so much.